everybody, this video teaches how to use the DFL SRP USB 3 for data extraction program to recover the weak heads from the Seagate 2000 DM001. So when the hard drive have weak heads, users can try to recover the good heads first and then recover the bad heads. So when users are working with the Seagate hard drive, users need to connect to the COM cable. This is a must. Now let's enter the DFL uh, the data extraction program, the DDP extraction program. Okay. Power on the hard drive. Okay, the drive is detected now. Let's go to set up one task. Image task. Source drive. We can edit the parts and the task name. For example, I can set up one new folder called John Smith. Miss one. See, okay. So we edit the parse name and task name. Next, use disk imaging for drives with weak heads, especially some drives after the head swap, it becomes very unstable. So you you must you know image the drive to target drive and then work on the tuck drive. This is the best way. So image the drive first. Tuck disk. Okay, for for I, I image to file. John Smith this image. Fish. So this is one two byte hard drive. The bitmap is created a little slower than with the drives with lower capacity. Just wait until the bitmap is created this way. Okay, now we have entered the disk imaging interface. So, how to recover the data by selective heads. Go to the head map. When you put your mouse over the head map button, then you will find the selective head image description, button description. Click it. Here is, uh, we can select the, the latest one for this hard drive. For the DM001. Click OK. Then we can check the status warning, and then we go to Snox, starting selective head image. Now you can see the head map is being created. So, after the bitmap is created successfully, you will find within the Nox window the head count for execution complete. At this time, let's go to the disk imaging settings interface. Here users can find, they can configure each pass, configure fully the disk imaging. Let's go to image by head, enable selective head image. And here, there are four heads. If the head one is damaged, then you can click head 2, head 3, head 0 and then click OK to image click start to image drive 0 2 
three. So the head one won't be imaged here because the head one is damaged. So we just image the head zero, head two, and head head three. You can check the imaging speed is very high. So it's very, you know, very easy to recover the drives with weak heads by this way using the selective head image. Okay, so thank you for watching my video. Any question is welcome to sales at dolphin data lab dot com